history of cattle colony and Fulani expansionism. A little history lesson for those WHO really want to know the truth, facts, as told by RTD. Generals Amani Lekwat and Colonel Johanna Madaki. Read so that history does not repeat itself in our time. Cattle colony is not a new thing in Nigeria. It has existed long before independence and it is called Zango, a word in Hausa that means underscore colony underscore. Zango has existed in many areas of Yoruba land. Till today, there is Sango Ada, the home country of our former president, Obisanjo. Know this, Sango is a corruption of the word Zango. There is Angon Kataf in Zongkwa, Kaduna State. When the Fulanis came there, they did not tell the natives that they were coming to settle. They just asked for a small land by the market as shed to sell cattle. This was granted them. The Fulanis soon gained entrance into Kafanchin town and before long, they turban one of themselves and addressed him, Emir of Jema. Jema in Hausa means, all. When the natives raised eyebrow, they said the Emir was going to be their own king, not the Kafanchin people. During the military government, the southern Kaduna people got a local government with the name, Jema Local Government. Later, Zonkwa got a separate local government and the local government was named Zangon Gataf Local Government. The Emir of Jema got a first-class stool and the entire southern Kaduna became tribute-paying enclave of the Zaza Emirate. The cunning jihad became a success. The southern Kaduna people were banned from buying or selling commodities in Zangon Kataf local government save for what the Fulanis permitted. In the process, Buryakutu and pork meat were outlawed. The protest to regain the market from the Fulani became the greatest Zangon Kataf crises that consumed many southern Kaduna lives leading to the arrest and unlawful imprisonment of the most prominent Kataf son. General Zamani Lekwat and many other Christian leaders. The people of Iloran cannot tell their story as Kwara state without their Fulani Emir, in a Yoruba speaking state. So is the Emir of Mori in Jalingo who was deposed leading to the underscore forceful and untimely retirement underscore as well as underscore removal from office underscore of Governor of Colonel Johanna Madaki. The Fulanis have a history of claiming wherever they had Zango, colony, as their own territory and from there begin expansion by bringing more Fulanis from Niger, Chad, and Senegal. The sole aim is to drive away all other tribes from Nigeria or waste their lives and take over the land. When NTA broadcasted for several weeks that one al Haji Maikudi founded Makurdi, they are most probably talking of a Zango, colony, located by River Bainway. Anywhere they stayed, the first Fulani to enter the town is the founder of that Zango, colony, and wherever they had Zango, colony, they will host a photo flag for occupation. Those little flags you see hanging around their settlements that look like the Nigerian flags we use to tie along the road when celebrating October 1st. Note, those states thinking of opening up colonies or new Zangos for Fulani do not know what they are doing because in no time, they will get an Emir and Fulani will claim the whole state as their own. For so long as Nigeria permit voting Fulani to be their president, Federal monetary allocations will be made to buy more arms for Fulani to come from Agads and other desert places in Africa to come and live in their new colonies and begin fresh ethnic cleansing. They need to know what they are dealing with. Hash wise up hash. Please help share this post, we must educate ourselves.